Hello and welcome to uh, this video tutorial. This is just going to kind of be an update <clears throat> for the uh, column that we created. Uh, I'm going to create another video after this one uh, and we're going to start adding some detail <clears throat> to the column uh, but I did want to uh, show you a couple of things. I've got a couple of new tricks I'd like to show you. Um, Okay, got our column here, <clears throat> uh, and if you have not seen this column tutorial, you can uh, go over and watch it first. Um, but one thing I did notice, let me go ahead and I'm going to uh, loop select uh, one of these top edges here. And then under the lines tab, I'm going to use the curve extraction, and you can also use a uh, the control C control V to copy any uh, edge from your object uh, and what will happen is it will create a curve <clears throat> let's go ahead and and hide our column and go to the top view now switch over to orthographic <clears throat> you will notice that uh, this top edge where we select uh, extracted this curve is not perfectly round okay and uh, what I did is uh, I, um, I went ahead and exported my column over into blender to fix that you can fix it in in hexagon but it is really uh, kinda tedious when you have this many uh, uh, points but I'm gonna go ahead and briefly tell you how to do it <clears throat> and then I'm gonna show you how to export this over into blender and correct that pardon me I uh, need to call <clears throat> okay I had to mute the uh, microphone there Okay, uh, let's go ahead and turn our column back on. Uh, no, let's not turn it back on yet. Okay, since this uh, top edge was not perfectly round, we're going to fix that. I'm going to go under the Lines tab, and I'm going to select uh, the third icon down. Is uh, create a uh, circle from diameter. And what you'll have to do is use two points to select the uh, create the diameter of your new circle. So I'm going to go and I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to snap to the top point. And I'm going to hold shift to select the bottom point. Okay. Our original curve that we extracted had 48 points so we want our new circle to also have 48 points and you can uh, change your number of points on your new circle uh, under the properties area and uh, right here and when you've uh, done that you can go ahead and validate that we'll go ahead and since we do not need our original cur uh, curve circle uh, we'll just make sure we're in object selection and I'm going to go control X to delete that I turn back on our column make sure you're in orthographic view and what you'll have to do <clears throat> is make sure that you have your column selected and let's zoom in really close here and you can grab the make sure that you only grab the top points of that edge on your column and then you can begin to move it around well actually here I think you probably need to grab the, all of them and begin may need to be in wireframe grab all those points and begin to move them and after you begin to move them then you can hold shift and they will snap um, to 
uh, that new circle and make everything nice and round. Uh, but what I prefer to do, let's go ahead and hide that curve and let's go to the front view is take this over into Blender and uh, the first thing you want to do before you export to Blender is uh, position your column in uh, your 3D space or this is what I do and uh, in the position you want to just zero all those out to put it in dead center of your 3D space. To file, export, wavefont object, and I've already done that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save it over again, and I'm going to say yes. Okay, on your uh, scale factor, uh, I use a uh, 0.2 scale factor. And just go ahead and save that. Okay, I have uh, it opened up over here in uh, Blender. Uh, when you import it, uh, you may you make sure that uh, you, of course, uh, you've deleted your default cube. And uh, one issue I had is that uh, Blender. For some reason, uh, when I imported this over and tried to go into edit mode, it wouldn't allow me to go to edit mode for some reason. So just make sure that uh, uh, before you try to switch over to edit mode that you do have your column selected. So now we're going to go ahead and go over into edit mode. And I'm going to go ahead and... Um, make sure that I'm in edge selection and I'm just going to select this top edge here and I'm going to select that bottom edge here and then you can go over here and use <coughs> your loop tools and just click circle and what that does is automatically uh, grabs those vertices and smooths them out and creates a uh, makes a perfect circle so then I'll just go back over here I'll go back into uh, object mode and then export your object back out and I'm just going to go where I have exported it originally and I'm just going to export right over the top of that okay and I'm going to uh, delete the one we have in hexagon go to object mode and control X and I'll go back over here to import and I'm going to make sure that I have object selected and just import that and now our uh, top edge uh, let's go to back to the top view and you can see that uh, it's uh, perfectly round now so let's hide that curve and go back to the front view okay now I've got these this uh, something I really wanted to show you <clears throat> that I learned the other day Kind of. Okay, if you will remember in uh, the first video, what we did is uh, we held the control key and just kind of extrude that out and 
go in here and extrude in <clears throat> um, when you're doing that you uh, well, let's go ahead and do that and what I usually do is uh, um, go ahead and convert this selection and this is what I did in the original video convert that selection two points and then I went over to the vertex modeling tab and then did a weld points okay uh, let's go ahead and do that okay and then validate that okay this is not all quads so to make that all quads um, you can go over here and just select every other edge so I'm going to go ahead and do that right quick. And then uh, after you have every other edge selected, you can use uh, your backspace on your keyboard and dissolve strays only. <clears throat> and now uh, that's all quads. Okay, but I have, let's go ahead and control Z this. And let's go back to top view. Okay, with that edge loop selected, um, I'm just going to deselect. the those uh, edges right there this may work may not I don't know uh, and then I'm going to just hit bridge so anytime you want to close up a loop and you go, if you go ahead and uh, deselect those uh, top two edges where I did and then just use your bridge tool it go ahead it uh, closes that up <clears throat> and then what you'll need to do is go ahead and select all these edges here let's see if we can maybe ring select that yeah and then I'm gonna tap my X key which creates a, uh, a new edge to the center there and then I'll just go to uh, a point selection and then we can use a target weld to weld those points together or if I want to I can just use the hotkey W and then I'm just going to weld this point to that point and now that's all quads and a lot uh, cleaner at least I think it's a lot cleaner uh, that's about it um, well let's go ahead and you can uh, chamfer these edges here just loop select those go to the surface modeling tab put a little bit of a chamfer on those oh we got an issue here um, let's try this again loop select nope sometimes uh, if you go in there <clears throat> and your chamfer doesn't work usually to fix that you may need to go in here and do an average weld and what I like to do is go ahead and go until I see some points start to uh, close up there. And let's see what happens here. Ah, there it goes. As you can see, uh, when you use that average weld, sometimes you don't even have to adjust it too much. And it will fix that if you start having a problem 
Anyway, and then you could go in here and uh, loop select all those edges and chamfer those a little bit, but uh, you're probably not going to be able to do too much of a chamfer with uh, this edge so close. So probably what you'd want to do is make sure you select select all the these edges around here and pull them up a bit before you try to chamfer uh, here on these flutes. Okay, and then of course you could go in here and ring select all those, tap your X key, and then uh, let's go to and just delete all that. <clears throat> go back under your vertex modeling tab and use uh, symmetry and then you'll have to select both of those and weld those together and there you go symmetrical column and we've done some cleanup uh, showed you the little trick about uh, closing up a loop seems like there was something else uh, I wanted to show you okay oh yeah let's uh, go ahead and reset files and let's open a new one up and well, I'm not gonna save this uh, this is currently what I'm working on uh, now is just I've been going in here and uh, I created uh, this top part um, created uh, this little scroll object here and I'm gonna show you how to create those scrolls it's uh, not really hard as uh, it looks uh, but uh, I will get ready to record that and uh, then uh, I'm going to add some some other detail in later and uh, show you that let me um, go in here and open up um, you'll notice uh, these they have some leaf details in there and uh, some other details you can uh, Google uh, uh, Corinthian capitals uh, columns and uh, find you some images to uh, take a look at some of the, that uh, detail <clears throat> and that's what I've started doing is is working out adding some uh, detail to our column and then I'll do some video showing you how to do that but that's about it for this video um, have a great day